What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Fatty. So today I got another install video. So yeah, I know I do a lot of install videos, but I like to uh, do them so that way I can give you guys some more insights on how to install stuff on your car. So today we're gonna be installing some speakers, uh, front speakers for the Supra. So for the front speakers, I had to get these adapters to fit my speakers that I bought. They're the Rockford Ford Gates um, six and a half inch speakers. Wanted to go a little bit wider than the stock one. The stock ones are four inches, so I had to get this adapter that fits six inch. And it comes in all this. So I have to buy this for me to mount it on my Supra. Shouldn't be that too hard of an uh, install. All you gotta do is take the door panel off and then the, uh, the speaker adapter should be right there behind the, the door panel. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Um, so let's get started. Supra. All right, so this is the speakers. That's the stock plastic cover. Um, there's a couple clips there's a screw right here and if you look along the bottom of the doors there's screws all the way around and then there's just a clip right here there's a clip right there so just take those out so we'll get started on those so these bolts on the bottom are eight millimeters so get those out so once you pull this cap off um, Looks like this. There's a Phillips screw right there and down here. Let's remove that. And then there's one in the armrest. There's a cap right here. Just pop open and there's a nut. Remove that. So check this out. So this, I have all the, the bolts out. It's loose and I was like, why is it not coming out? And I, took out this plastic piece for the trim and then look there's a 10 millimeter bolt right there that's holding the door in so we're gonna have to remove that and hopefully this whole piece will come out all right so just like that the door is out being held by the speaker wire right here so all I gotta do is unplug that and this whole door should come out all right so looking at the assembly this is the stock Four inch speakers and this is the whole assembly for it the whole adapter so I'm gonna have to remove that I'm gonna remove this speaker wire right here and I'll take this out and see how it looks all right so I'm just test fitting it to see how it looks pretty much lines up against the bolts and I think this face this way. So I'm gonna mount the speakers. Side by side comparison. Stock, aftermarket. So I'm gonna mount the speakers on there. All right guys, this is how it looks like once installed. The speakers are in. Mount it on. So I have to get an aftermarket adapter that connects to the back of the speakers. It's just two prongs. And then that connects to the stock harness, which is right here. And this goes into the uh, control for your windows and stuff like that. So pretty much, yeah, this is pretty much simple. I'll link the uh, where I got this in the description. The right side is pretty much done. I'm gonna show you how to do the rear speakers. Um, just pretty much grab your pry tool, your speaker cover. Let's go underneath. Pop it open. This is being held by clips. And there's my speakers. It's pretty much, the stock one has four screws. Pull the screws out, pull it back out, and you're good to go. You're gonna have to redrill new holes for the speakers to hold in. That's pretty much it. The, uh, the good thing about the rear speakers is that you don't have to worry about putting um, an adapter. The stock speakers already has a prong so you can just buy the, um, the speakers and then you just plug in the prong from the stock harness from there so that you should be good to go. So yeah, and once you're done, grab the speaker cover back on. Snap back in place. 
and you're done. So yeah, the uh, the right side is pretty much done. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the left. It's just pretty much the same thing, just on the other side. So, so once you get that out, take out the stock speakers with the adapter, put the aftermarket adapter, put the speakers on, pretty much tightened down. Everything should be good to go. Um, so yeah, once I button everything up, I'll let you guys hear how it sounds like. All right, the door speakers are in, door panels are back on. Same thing for that side, so we're gonna test it out. All right, so overall, I mean, Really quick process, probably the easiest door panel I've removed I ever did on any car. So Toyota made it really easy for me to do it. You can also use a four inch aftermarket speaker. I'm pretty sure those will bolt on right onto there, but I wanna go for the six and a half inch. So that's what I got these brackets for. But overall, the car sounds amazing. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, make a comment below on what you need. Um, and I'll see if I can post another tutorial video. Till then, see you later.